Do you what? know Kenny and Izzy, by the no, way? No, hi, it's, I'm Jake. Hello. Nice to meet Kenny you. Kenny Izzy, nice producers. Thanks for coming on. Uh, they're, you, they're, they're great. They're, you guys adore, seem adore them, yeah. If you have any questions for them, okay, what are your start let then? them know. Okay, perfect. Um, Sun Taurus. <gasps> my mom's a Taurus. Oh my God, what? She's a Taurus. I love Taurus. What, are, what, what month is that? Oh, May 13th. You're a Gemini. Yeah. I love Gemini. I know, I'm glad. I love Gemini. Because I have a Gemini rising, Gemini moon. Sorry, I always interrupt to talk about myself. No, so you're a Taurus. Jake, I like love that yeah. because despite what people think, like I don't like talking. What? I, I, do, I don't know I what it love is. talking to you though. And I love hearing your voice and your responses to things. I love hearing your voice and I could hear your voice just <sighs> nonstop. So I'm please, so happy to be here. I'm so <laughs> happy to have you. Jake Shane, everybody, by the way. Well, Brooke, you don't always have to be a star. I know, but you do if you are going to be in the biggest boy band in the world. I got so worked up that I had thrown up on myself in my stroller. In my 14-year-old self, I said, those are hot men. Men. And look at them now. They're like, <laughs> babies. That was kind of just like a casual interest, mm. which I guess maybe a little bit more than casual. <laughs> this is my soulmate. No, my no, soulmate. This, my and we always knew it, but we didn't know. And then Brooke and Connor came on my podcast and uh, like it was just a visceral reaction. Visceral. Us. I have felt like if we were to compare our 23s and me's. Yeah. I would, they would be I very think they similar. Would be, they would tell us that we're We related. were both made fun of for body hair. Yep. Yep. And that was our first like right off the bat. Right off the bat. And like debilitating, debilitating mental illness. Men like, <laughs> yeah, like to the point where it's like, how are you here? How are you here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so interesting. Not only how are you here, just like walking around this planet, but like how are you here doing what we do? Do like, like as we speak right now, I'm sweating. No, sweating. hands shaking. I had a mental breakdown in the car right here. Did Tell I know about it? I, I did was too. But the crying, complaining, and then someone told me like, it sounds like you're just projecting, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> and you know what? The <laughs> truth of it all is even worse. Because I was projected. Everything's a projection. Yeah, everything. I can't think of one thing that's not a projection. Thank you. I just have severe <laughs> jealousy issues. And like they really like debilitate my life. I And I would yeah. consider jealousy like a very serious mental illness. I don't understand how someone could not be jealous. I am so, if talk about obsessed. I'm obsessed with how jealous I am of people and things. I'm seriously like it runs my life. Mm -hmm. Like jealousy almost fuels what I want to do. Like, if I'm jealous of someone else, I want that now. Like, I want that toy. That's then, mine. Then that's good if it motivates you, right? Not, pr yeah. Not, not right now. No, I guess, I guess, yeah. 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 So what's your star sign? Uh, I'm an Aries. <gasps> I totally get that vibe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that? <laughs> All my old bosses were Aries. What does that mean for Kevin? They're still my best friends. Oh, thank God. What yeah. does that imply? I, just, I respect you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Yeah. That's, I've never wait, been a boss huge. before, but that's, that's kind of cool. I yeah. respect Aries a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any stars on you, you don't respect? I'm not the biggest fan. I can't say that because I have so many friends that are that star sign. I'm not the biggest fan of like, okay, I'm not the biggest fan of a Libra. And when are they born? They're born like late September, early October. And I'll tell you why. Tell they now. just like never take a side from what I've experienced. Okay. And like one or the other. You know what I mean? Totally. They play the fields, but they don't even like, like they're like, ah, like, I don't know. It's like, I would respect you more if you played the field and like pretended to take a side. Okay. Right. You totally. know what I mean? Because then totally. I believe you. Totally. Am I making any sense? No, I get that. Sorry. I don't know much about star signs but i do know that Same. i have a hard time with virgos really and there are a lot of virgos in my life some of the people closest to me are virgos is but connor a virgo? connor's a virgo i totally There's a see specific that specific quality in virgos that i'm drawn to that also really triggers me can i tell you what it is tell me it's that they're they take control yeah. And like you like that because sometimes it takes the pressure off. Ye oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. But then sometimes you're like, but deep down, I want to be in control. It's just that I'm too lazy to be in control. You you literally just crack the mainframe it's matrix. That's me. Are you a Virgo? No, you're no, not a No, but like either. I have the same relationship. Cancer. Yeah. Okay. Just like. Is that legit? Did I get it right? No, I think that's 100% it. Mm -hmm. And they're like controlling, not controlling of me per se, but like they know how to like push 
But my, you, my, your feelings are so passionate and so strong. Yes, yes. Sometimes you just don't want to, you are too, you don't have the energy to express them on the slight chance that they will be shut down. So you let the other person take it away. But that, at the end of the day, fucks with you. And you know what Virgos are really good at? I am like so emotional that I can never get those emotions right out into words it's just like a like a yep. kind of an explosion yes like like screaming screaming like crying like yep. can't really like have a conversation with you if i'm in an emotional state like uh-huh. i would need to write right. something down right i write a lot but then when i write i realize how crazy i sound so i don't write because uh-huh. i don't want to know you don't want to know you don't want that on paper and like yeah, I, yeah that too also what was I going to say? Can I curse on here? Uh, yeah, please do. Okay, yeah. great. What was I going to say? Something about complaining and crying. Got it. I haven't cried since 2019. You're lying. I swear. Have you seen one day? I just started last night. Okay, so maybe things are about to change for I'll you. I'll tear up. I will not cry. Jake, I thought the same thing. Because I'm pretty <laughs> numb because of my meds. Me too. That's yeah. my issue. Yeah, I don't really cry a lot. But yeah. that like. What are you on? Okay, so right now I'm doing Zoloft. Okay. And Wellbutrin. Wow. Yeah. What a cocktail. Have you ever done Wellbutrin? No. I've never done Wellbutrin. No, I mean like, but I know people that are on it and they love it. Cha- actually changed my life. Okay. I'm on Prozac and strictly Prozac and I'm wondering if maybe mama's not working anymore. Well, I always, I don't really, and as I, as always, I'm not a doctor and please don't take any of this and t- to science. It's not science. No. It's just the way I feel and how medicines react in my body. Right. But I feel like, because I've been on meds since I was five. Shut the fuck up. Oh, God, yeah. Are I you was for serious? Five. Because I was agoraphobic. <laughs> Wait, I was super mentally ill as well, but my dad was like homeopathic. Uh-huh. So he would never let me until it was like COVID and I was like twitching because I couldn't get out of bed because my OCD yeah. was so bad. And I was like, um, I will burn this house down if you don't give me meds. Also, I think I was finally not on their health care anymore, so I could do whatever I wanted. Well, my parents were, I don't think they were like wanting me to be on meds, but it was the point where... I wasn't leaving the house. I wasn't going to school right. What's because it's when you don't leave that you're scared of leaving the house. Like the girl in Shameless. Who? Oh, Sheila. Yes. 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 I, w- I was I giving Sheila. I was giving Sheila because this was I was five in 2001. And I'm sorry you guys have heard this so many times. But I thought that I was responsible for 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I thought that I had brought those towers down and that I didn't want to. What? I didn't want to leave the house. Should I do something like that again? <laughs> So that was the beginning of OCD, which my therapist didn't even realize was OCD at the time because I was not like organizing. I wasn't it, it wasn't like behavioral. It was all thoughts. I thought because I could envision that you doing the towers happen. coming down in my head and I could think about me th- like <laughs> I thought I willed it. Right. <laughs> I didn't think Wait, I flew honestly, the plane. Been there. Been there. I used to think that too about certain things. Yeah. I got that. It wasn't as intense as 9-11. Like mm-hmm. I knew Osama was in charge of that one. <laughs> yes. But okay, you know. I I understand like I've been there. And then I think what really got me on the meds is I thought I was going to kill my parents. Wait. I totally got that. Like I thought <laughs> I was having like these insane intrusive thoughts. That oh, I, gonna, I have the gnarliest intrusive them. thoughts. Yeah. What were my I used to have I I had to stop watching like um criminal minds because I'd be like oh. I'd look at the serial killer I'd be like me like you <laughs> me, know what I mean yes but I'd be like what like you yeah. know what I mean like things would be like I would just be like oh I could do that and then it's like wait what I still think that but I've gotten more of a handle yeah I those. I had to well my OCD was like I would watch the true crime and then I'd be like okay to make sure that I don't become like a cult leader yeah. like I have to um tap this four times so this doesn't happen do you know what I mean? Yes. Like I thought yes. like, it's a it's like we think life is out of our control. Right. Right. Totally. Oh my god, that's so Virgo vibes. Yes. But yeah. That's why we look for control. Yeah. That be oh my god, you are I like literally goosebumps. I have chills. Okay, so I went on meds when I was five and I was on Paxil. Have you ever heard of Paxil? No, it sounds like it was discontinued. It was they do not use it anymore because it works too well what so i was like not only was i leaving the house when i was on (laughs) paxel i was like pulling my pants down (laughs) at school and so they had to take me off of that but i went back on that in 10th grade because i was like 
literally couldn't even. Yeah. I was so anxious. I couldn't oh, even 10th open. through 10th, 11. Like couldn't even open my mouth in class. My mom had to call my teachers and be like, do not call on her. Because <laughs> it's like not like I can't I couldn't open my mouth. So they even though they didn't really use it anymore, they put me back on Paxil to like just a teeny bit to kind of yeah. like get me back. Is it awesome. I literally like <laughs> I stopped gained 20 pounds. And also That's what that does. Because you literally you can't. Like you have no inhibitions. Like I literally like didn't do my homework. My backpack, <laughs> my backpack stayed in the car for months. Like I literally was just like, I don't give a shit about anything. Right. Like I'll do and like I literally like you don't have a care in the world. Right. I'll eat six courses right now. You know what it sounds like. What? Okay, so do you remember when they marketed oxycodone as a painkiller? But are they still aren't was, they still doing that? No, 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 oh. no, no. It's, people went to jail. Okay. And people died. Okay. But I that sounds like Is that completely off the market? Um, I don't know, but it definitely isn't completely off the market. Okay. But like they used to prescribe it when you like bumped your head. Okay. That almost sounds like what Paxil is. Yes. To your anxiety. Yes. Except like no one's dying. No one's dying. They're just I, not doing their homework. They're just not doing their homework and pulling down their pants. But <laughs> That's that's that. I don't think they really use that anymore. Yeah. So, but I've been on like every single thing. But what I was going to say is that I think like after a few years, they kind of stop working. They do. So that's why I've been on so many because I just have to go on different ones. I think I have to switch it up soon too. I sense it. I know you sense it. Might be time to give it a switch. No, it's, it's um yeah. Like it's definitely starting. Like mm-hmm. I think I might as well get ahead of it. Mm-hmm. I just don't know what it will be because like I don't want to go on a Paxil type and gain 40 pounds. No, they won't. Like, and that's they just won't me do being that. They honest. won't do that to you. Oh, you would think that. But my psychiatrist, I was like, hi, girl. Like, I've never had a good psychiatrist. Nope, never. They just like want you to get out of your face. Yeah. But that's why I stopped scheduling appointments with her. I haven't, you know, I didn't see her for two years. It's so much easier to just like use your like primary care physician if I had one. Oh, I didn't have a checkup <laughs> for four years. I, I, I'm too scared to go to the doctor. I hate it. Yeah. Um. Another reason that I think you're my soulmate. Yeah. Okay, so it's the anxiety piece. Also, like, did you have like a nine eleven moment, like when you were like, "Oh, t- t- my brain is is unique." Yeah, like I'm not like other it girls. It was. Um, I think I was like seven or mm-hmm. something, and I started touching things evenly because it felt good, and then I started doing it because it would give me good luck. Okay. Then that's when I began to notice patterns. Things were awry. Okay. And like. I would be at a restaurant, like, double tapping the water, and my dad would be like, what the fuck? Like, you must stop. And I'm like, well, this isn't normal. Like, this is just, like, a thing that I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, it's uh, it's actually not. But I wouldn't go on meds. And then, like, I refused to go to therapy. I was just a bad kid. Do you go to therapy now? Oh, yeah, but I miss it all the time. Yeah. I die for her, though. Ride or die? Ride or die. She goes, send me pics of your outfit, girl. So I send her pics of outfits oh my, my God, outfit whenever I go to a work event. That's sweet. Yeah. I feel like I need, like, a really, like, old person nope, you don't there i think i do you don't no nope, i think i absolute. need someone to like th- that doesn't that will like really be mean to me hey guys we want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode today ticks it's cold outside it's boring inside and i think the best thing to do when you go out is probably something you've never done before whether you're planning a special date or just need a break from the same old same old evening on the couch i've got the inside scoop on the best way to get tickets to shows and other fun events in your city today ticks Today Ticks is the best night out you haven't had yet, with the best value on tickets to amazing things going on all around you. Getting tickets is as easy as ordering takeout. You guys know I love getting snug as a bug and a rug on my couch, but sometimes I just need to leave my house and the theater is the perfect excuse to do that. Just go in the Today Ticks app or visit todayticks.com and scroll through their offerings. There's are stuff you've always wanted to check out and stuff you've probably never heard about otherwise. Then you check out in just a few taps and get your tickets sent right to your phone. They've got tickets to shows on Broadway and the West End and in other cities across the country and around the world. You can book a show in advance or be spontaneous and check out what's going on tonight. I'm going to New York in March and I've already booked Merrily We Roll Along, Wicked and Little Shop of Horrors on Today Ticks and it made it so easy to book those shows. Today Ticks also gives you access to exclusive pre-sales, lotteries, and specially priced rush tickets. Go to todayticks.com slash obsessed and use promo code obsessed to get $20 off your first Today Ticks purchase. That's promo code obsessed at todayticks.com slash obsessed. Todayticks.com slash obsessed. This podcast is sponsored by Squarespace. 
Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one space on your terms. Get started with one of their professional website templates with designs for every category and use case. Then customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do what you want so your idea, brand, or business stands out online on every device. You can also easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. Design your products and production, inventory, and shipping are handled for you, saving you time and money. Squarespace makes selling your products on an online store so much easier. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash OWB to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash OWB to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Oh, oh my God, wait, I forgot to show you my puss. I've seen the tents crawling out of your back. Yeah, and I've been this meeting is, I brought my puss. Oh this my is God. Professor Puss. Wait, what? Because it's like, there's like a sophistication Where did to you him. get him? I got him oh. in New York. He's a New Yorker, just like you. And I got him from Strand, the bookstore. Oh, I will be in. I will be going. Yeah, that's Professor Putt. Oh, he's perfect. He's, he's giving, in like a like James Burr sweater. The shoulder. Yeah, sophisticated. Oh, he's so sophisticated. Yeah, he's gorgeous. He works at like a liberal arts college for sure. No, one hundred percent. He's just missing his thick rimmed black glasses. Yes, and he smells weird. You think? Uh, but like not right, not literally like like oh my god, amazing. Okay, he's like absolutely smelling amazing. No, he smells amazing. But like but if he was a person if, in real okay, life, if he was a personified, he would Puss. smell like coffee but like at 4 p.m like a science teacher yeah and it's like why do you smell like this at 4 p.m yeah do you know what i mean to like jake 100 eight in the morning like i'll give it to you up until 11 past 11 like yeah let's mask it yeah okay and i i can see that for professor puss yeah but I, we're telling yeah, you now yeah i keep getting distracted what i wanted to say was okay we connect on the anxiety piece uh -huh. and also um the like bed Oh, I love my bed. Peace. Like you love your bed in a way that I could have only dreamed to find someone that loves their bed as much as and I love my I bed. I take care of my bed. You take care of your bed. Jake, tell us about your bed setup. Okay. Is everyone ready for my bed setup? It's too good. Okay. You walk into my room. You're like, oh my God, this is paradise already. Because like it's so comfy. It's mm -hmm. such an like amygdalation of like my like, mind. Like puss is everywhere. Puss is everywhere. And it's freezing cold to the touch. You walk in and it is Antarctica. Yep. And you might be like, this is the worst thing ever. Just wait. And so my, this is, I'll give it to you season by season. So let's go winter. Okay. okay? Take it season by season. No AC, right? You walk in, but the room is naturally cold because I do live um, in a, a back house right. situation. And so you're like, okay, I'm a little, ooh, I'm a little cold. Like, mm -hmm. let me get under the cupboard. You're like, ooh, I'm so cold. Let me turn on my bed jet. Yep. What's a bed jet, you may ask? <laughs> Tell us, Jake. It is a hose of air that you put under your bed and it blows up under your sheets. And so I blow, tur you put on the turbo, turbo, mode. turbo yep. setting, yep. and you blow 110 degree hot air mm -hmm. into your bed. And then you might be like, well, that's too hot. Right. I have a fan right next to my bed. You turn on the fan so you're cold on the outside, toasty on the inside. And there's regulations with turbo, right? Like it goes, it turns off if it reaches You can't certain... put turbo, The it turns off automatically after 10 minutes. Okay. Because like, I don't, God knows. if God you... knows what will happen to turbo after 10 minutes. No, you like. turn it back on? Uh, every time. Okay. But I think the idea is they don't want you to fall asleep with turbo on. Because like. 110 feels. Strong. Like a hot tub isn't even 110. It's so amazing though. You, I mean, you've experienced it. I've experienced it. the bed jet. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Did I? And the puss came. Oh, yes. I bought an $1,000 oh, yeah, puss. Oh, yeah. It'd be $1,000 puss. And I, Neville Pusserman. Yes, Neville Papper Puss. God, I cannot get it right. No one can. And I lay my head on it and my slip silk pillowcases. I put on my TV and I'm in heaven. What's the opposite of turbo? Um, cold. Is is there a specific no? There's not like a name turbo or cold. a temperature. But during the summer, what I will do is so that's my winter summer. The AC will be on sixty two. Mm -hmm. The fan will be on, and the bed jet will be on cold. Okay. Wow. I like to be cold. And you've also made me very comfortable in the stuffed animal space. Oh, they've changed my life. Like the comfort that they have brought me recently, specifically jelly cats. Yep. Oh my fucking god. And Professor Puss is a jelly cat. Oh, he is. Oh God, yeah. And also. I knew Have it. you ever had a warmie? 
what the fuck is a wormy? It's like a heavy kind of weighted <gasps> stuffed animal that has that lavender type of smell. Oh my God, yes, of course and they're not a wormy. And you put it in the, the microwave, microwave, which feels very, very upsetting yeah, to be doing that. It feels, I used to have a wormy when I was a kid, but it was very small, but I would, I guess they have to be small to fit in the microwave. To close the door on it and just like press the two minute thing is it feels like, wrong. it feels incredibly But that incredibly shit puts wrong. you to bed. But it is to die for. It's I have my for. duck wormy. Ooh. Yeah, and my jelly cats. Oh, I love a wormy. And I couldn't, I actually couldn't be more at peace. Yeah, that sounds amazing. And Jake, listen to what else I got yesterday. Okay. I don't know if this will like float your boat as much because you don't like to read, right? <sighs> no. Okay, that's that's completely fine because you'll like elements of this. Okay. So I got a Kindle yesterday <sighs> for the sole reason of this, getting this other device that hooks onto your bed. So then... You can put the Kindle in this device. So it kind of like hangs out like a lamp in front of okay. you. Um, and then I got a remote so that I can <laughs> turn the pages without touching my Kindle. <laughs> the Kindle's this close to my face as I'm laying down and I never have to move my arms. My <laughs> arms stay under the cover. Picturing that is really funny. Yeah. So I didn't move. <laughs> I got it yesterday. I didn't move for six hours. How do you read? My neck hurts. What Reading you- is like... I don't know, ugh, like every time my, oh, my OCD, I also can't read because I'd have mm-hmm. to reread stuff. And I'm like, this is just too fun. I have a hard time with it. Like I do go back pages more than I go forward pages right. just to make sure I have every single that's, detail. Is that part of your OCD? I every think single so. Detail. But here's the thing with the Kindle that's good is that you can highlight any single word. Like if you don't understand a word or you know it's been mentioned before and you don't know where, highlight it and it will bring you back to every single part of the book that has been mentioned. <gasps> So that has actually really helped with the like turning back oh, pages. Oh wait, I I could invest in a Kindle. I need to. I need to read. That's my goal of twenty twenty four is to read one book. May I recommend the Handless Experience? What is the Handless? Ex- oh, the yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a book. What I've gotten myself into. Oh, the Handless <laughs> yeah. Experience. I was like, what? Yeah. Sounds like the Stanford Prison Experiment. And what's really fun is Goodreads. Okay. Like logging all of your books. I'm a letter. Your- I'm, I'm, I've been trying to do letterbox, but let me tell you, like, I have a hard time watching a fucking movie. I don't blame you. I have a hard time watching a movie. The only thing I, I can can't do not with be TV, on my phone. I have to be on. My I phone. have to be. On, I have to be watching TikToks on full volume while I've got the TV also on full volume. Yeah, TikTok hasn't really been doing it for me lately. Though. Really, I've recently got back. I don't post. Okay, but I've recently got back into scrolling endlessly. What about the? Have you seen the fifty part marriage series? Who the, the fuck did I marry? Yeah, Legion. I have not seen that. I had to watch the eight minute recap because I didn't. I don't have the attention span for fifty two parts that are all eight minutes <laughs> each. <laughs> How long is it? Like five hours? Way more than. I that. think it's like forty five minutes for the minutes, but for the first half of it. Because I oh, saw someone that was did like, maybe. Not- did you watch? Did you watch it? No, I saw a TikTok that was like, if you just watch the first half and go on the treadmill, it's like the best workout ever. And I was like, that is a great idea. Started the first part, can't do it. Really? Yeah, I got off the treadmill. Is home. it a slow burn? Yeah, it's, she's like a really good storyteller, but okay. it's just like a lot of detail. And it's just like, okay, what? Just to say her husband's a liar. Okay, riddle me this. Does anyone remember the Zola tweet thingy in like 2014? No. <sighs> you had Walk to be me there. Through it. Okay, this girl tweeted, do you want to hear why me and this bitch fell out? And everyone was like, like obviously, yes. Yes. And it was the most incredible tweet series. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? You do? Thank you. I, I, you guys aren't the only ones. No one in my house knew what it was the other day either. Incredible, thought-provoking series of tweets I've ever seen. They made it into an A24 movie. What's the movie called? Zola. Zola? Yeah. I think this is going to be at least oh, a minute Hulu but series. In the Zo- it, to look at Zola and see what happened with that, mm-hmm. 100% this, that's happening with it. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't. I, ca- I can't. I wish TikTok never went over a minute. I know. I have to say it. Yeah. Even though I'm benefiting from it on the well, that's occasion why that I, I, I was never a YouTube video. kid because I, I couldn't watch. I, I couldn't watch YouTube fan. videos. I don't know what it is because I can watch TV. Like it's I can my listen job. to podcasts. Weirdly enough. See, I can't do that. Really? Mm-mm. As we're speaking on As one. As we're speaking on one. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> is, it, is, it is something that I have to live with. The fact that I, would, I wouldn't I would listen to my own That podcast. you wouldn't listen to your own art. No. I don't listen to my own either. I listen to it one time to make edits and then. Oh, see, I can't even do that. I can't even watch our clips. Shut up. I can't, like it makes me feel really sick. Really? Yes. 
What's your sign again? A Gemini? Gemini, That's but there's a lot of cancer stuff happening too. Do you know what your rising and your moon is? I think they might both be cancer. Okay, mine are both Gemini, which is why I don't tell people my birth chart a lot because it's like Scorpio double Gemini. It's mm-hmm. a lot. But like that is why I'm able to like also watch myself so much. Oh, I can't look at myself. I can't hear myself. Really? Yeah, it's really tough. And people think I'm being dramatic, but it is literally like if I hear my if somebody like pulls up my TikToks or something, I'll fr- I'll freak out. Oh, I'll freak out, but I'll be like, ah. no, like I won't. It's not even like <laughs> like it literally sounds to me like n- nails on a chalkboard, but 10 times worse. Yeah, no, I definitely get that. My my kryptonite, though, is attention. I will I see suffer that for, for you. attention. Do you know what I mean? Uh, totally. Like, I will suffer for it. So while yeah. that makes me uncomfortable and I hate hearing my own voice, if everyone is talking and looking at me, beauty is pain. I and only so attention. like attention from people that I already am close with. <gasps> I don't insane. want anyone that I don't know to look at me. Wow. Yeah. Maybe that's why we get along so well because I am the exact opposite. I think we're really good yin and yang. We are. While also existing in the same 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 space yeah it's just like it's i wish everyone could feel what i know no, we're both feeling right now um in the books that i'm reading i'm reading a lot of like fantasy books okay there's well have you seen twilight of course okay so kind of like imprinting yeah that's yeah. what i'm feeling yeah i feel it's physical it's physical yeah kind of crazy that jacob imprinted on renesme it all it really is isn't it it's crazy and it's like oh like dude, it's fine it's platonic no it's not wait imprinting's um romantic yeah. That's how it was described to us. That's how it was described at That's first. That's how it was And then they're going to go us. ahead and tell us, actually, it's platonic until she turns 18. Babe, that's just called grooming. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's not okay. There's a lot of parts of Twilight looking back. And I'll, I'm, I'll say it loud and proud. Twilight's my favorite thing in the world. Are you serious? I love Twilight, More Jake. the Hunger Games? It's diff- like the Hunger Games is objectively better. It's objectively better. Objectively better. But Twilight shaped me. When I was what, however old, 12 or something, uh-huh. in a way that's like fundamental to who I am now. I love thinking about stuff like that. Yeah. And Twilight's out for you. So when I watch Twilight, I get a feeling that I don't get with anything else. Okay. It's more about like the nostalgia and the I feeling. feel that way with Jersey Shore. Yes. And I feel that way with Bad Girls Club. What's that? Oh my God. We just talked about them yesterday. I did? No, Connor did. I wasn't listening. Bad, Girls Club, or the ba- Bad Girls Club or the baddies? Bad Girls Club. Okay, because the baddies is like a new age bad girls club. Okay. With a lot more fighting. (sighs) Bad girls club is just they stick 12 bad girls in a house Mm -hmm. and they all fight. Oh, like reality. One of Oxygen's highest rating rated reality TV shows, I think, in the 2000s. And it I used to watch it since I was eight years old. So that's how I feel when I watch stuff like that. Okay. Or Glee. Yeah, I mean. Glee, but Glee is also the best thing I've ever seen. Ever in my if life. If you even take out the emotion of yeah. it all, this is, it's the best thing I've ever seen. It is really, oh, it's such a classic. Have you watched the whole, like, have you watched past season three? Yep. I haven't. <gasps> because I care about it so much. Nope. It'll no. be worth it. I sobbed at the end, hysterically. I, literally, like, it's a different show to me and it feels, it, 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 it makes me dip- feel sick. I know, but, okay, so in season three, do they sing Roots Before Branches? No. Oh my God. No. Do Finn doesn't send Rachel off on the train to New York? That's the last episode. That's of Roots three. Before Branches. Oh, gotta have roots before so branches. Maybe I'm just walk- that episode like broke me. S- broke me. I think that I've actually so like, you've never seen the quarter locked it out. Either. I I've seen. I have. I have gone back and watched the quarter. Right. You need to watch it because I'm just gonna spoiler alert. Yeah. You care? No, I don't care. Kurt and Blaine break up, and Blaine, I've chills, sings in teenage a, dream acoustic. A, acoustic teenage dream. Jake, that. That was my number one um, Spotify wrapped of last year. What is it really? Yeah. Oh, God. And yeah. you've never seen the scene? No, I have seen the scene, but I haven't watched. I've seen like a lot of scenes right. and I know a lot of the songs from the later episodes, but I could, it just wasn't the same show to me. I, 100%. Yeah. What's your favorite Glee number? Awesome question. I'm a huge, huge um, Blaine girl. Okay. So I would say, honestly, Teenage Dream Acoustic, even though okay. I didn't witness that. Um, there was nothing you watched Glee like in real time, right? In real like time. every Tuesday in and Wednesday, yeah. you know, it would switch off days. Like mm-hmm. it would be Glee. There was nothing like Glee doing. Oh my god, I have fucking shivers. A <laughs> killer <laughs> number for like the final scene and then like ending. And I wanted to be Gleek of the week so bad. I've, every time, 
Every and I never, never, never. And I went to go see them live. I, I, I my mom was gonna take me, and then I threw a temper tantrum, so she wouldn't let me. I got. I had the privilege and honor. Was it amazing? It was. Fuck. So yeah. what was your favorite? Okay, my number? favorite number. Anything with Jonathan Groff in it. Totally. Also, probably um, regionals. The journey regionals. I, faithfully, words out of my mouth. Faithfully is there's a note that Finn hits. Oh my god. Do you know what I'm talking yes. about? What yes. am I talking about? Like he goes. He goes, fuck. I, I have it it's on the tip of my brain. Well, Rachel goes, I'm still Yeah, yeah, up here. Kind of, oh my God, what does Finn do that literally shivers in <sighs> places they didn't I know don't, I could get that's a, I know what you're talking about. I don't remember, but they do faithfully into Don't Stop Believing yes. into, um, is it, you can't always get what you want? I think so. Oh my God, I have fucking chills. I know. But you want to know what my personal, one of my favorites is, and you might be like, what? Because at first when they start singing it, you're like, bore, I've never heard this song. Tell me. Um, fucking, what is it called? Something about a streetcar, the car, the, does any, something about. Was it in the first three seasons? Yes. A car. A car. Do you care if I look it up? I would encourage you to. Glee, car, glee, sports car. Here. Car. Billy car song. Bust your windows? No, no, no. Um Glee. Streetcar. Yeah, streetcar maybe. The trolley song? No. Something about like a What was the storyline? Do you remember? It was, it was either national okay. or regional. Okay. And they were singing and it was like something about it was like an 80s esque. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Something about uh, it's a, are you sure it's about a streetcar? No, I'm thinking maybe <laughs> Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. <laughs> but um, let's look up all the Glee, like nationals, like Glee nationals. I'm really list. like I'm wrapping my brain around this right now. Car, streetcar, drive my car, drive. No, no, no. Um, right okay. Now. Set list. It's not We Are the Champions. No, no, no. It's not Pinball Wizard. It is Pinball Wizard. Really? Yes. But that's not even the Glee, like our Glee Club. That wasn't New Directions, was it? Oh, well, it was amazing. Yeah. Wait. No, keep going. I don't think it was Pinball Wizard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was Pinball Wizard. Paradise by Paradise the Dashboard Light. Yes! Which one is that? I forget, but it's para. Oh, my God. It's amazing. And they all okay, harmonize to... Paradise. And okay. It's... Damn, oh. I'm due for a rewatch. And I'm thinking about cards because it's Dashboard. Whoa. The brain is an amazing it's thing. It's an amazing object. Wow. You know, I used to be scared. I would have, I would hit my head a lot as a kid. Yeah. So every time I hit my head, maybe this was part of my OCD, I would have to say my name and address <laughs> and age and date of birth. And then sometimes one time at circus camp, someone stepped on my head. Uh -huh. Oh God. And that you went to circus camp? Absolutely. What'd you do at circus camp? Stilts. Um, <laughs> I think I mimed. I, there was a showcase. It was amazing. Wow, I wouldn't have taken it. It was at a Jewish high school. I was going to say, was it a Jewish circus camp? Well, no, not everyone there was Jewish because some someone was like, no, a lot of them actually weren't Jewish. And I knew, I knew that because a lot of them didn't have like the same anxieties I had. Mm. You can always tell. You can always tell. You know what I mean? Through the imprinting bond. Yes. Yeah. It is true. And no, yeah. Actually, one of my uh, circus coaches was like, you know who I'm dis like directly related to. And I was like... Girl, who? And she was like, John Wilkes Booth. And I was like, that is not something I would advertise. Huh. Like, at all. Right. I wouldn't, so I was that like, would you be the first thing I'd I say. I don't think John Wilkes Booth, Wilkes Booth was Jewish, which is why I was saying I don't think everyone there was Jewish. I, no, I totally understood how you got there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, something else I was going to ask you. My mind is complete. What were we talking about? I forget. What were we talking Oh, the pusses. I think I was. Whoa. Yeah. I think that might have been a few miles back. That might have been a few miles. I was thinking about... Glee. Glee. The shows that shaped you. Shows that shaped me. Fuck. Oh, Jake, I have like no... <laughs> I, I have no idea. The Twin Towers. Twin Towers. <laughs> it's gone. Whatever. It's gone. It's gone. Um, but I am curious about all of your post stuffed animals. Right. Including the $1,000 one. Well, they all have names. I was going to ask you to name them all if you can and then rank favorite to least favorite. Okay. Okay. So there's – okay. So – okay. I'm just going to name them first so yeah. we can just get that part out of the way. Passandra. She's my personal favorite. She's – okay. Spoiler she, alert. She's the one. <laughs> she means the world to she's me. She's a diva. Yeah. She's a diva. That she is, comes yes. with me everywhere. Passandra, Penelopus, Neville Popperpus. Yep. Push Sheeran. <laughs> I love Push Sheeran too. 
Yeah, because he's got that orange. Yeah, he's orange. Yeah, and the whole mm-hmm. bougie pus, <laughs> ETP extraterrestrial pus, <laughs> um, key pus, which is like my keychain pus, um, palm pus because it's a pomeranian inside a pus. Um, there's the pomeranian inside yes, a pus. There's like a pomeranian with a pus costume. Okay. Blow pus because it has good lips for a blowjob. <laughs> And then I have I have two blow pusses actually. Okay. I was given to them as a gift. And then I have Therapus, which is the one that sits in my office. Is that the thousand dollar one? No, the thousand dollar one is Neville Papper Puss. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't and know then, what it is about me and Neville Papper Puss that I just like can't get him straight. Is no, it him? It's is it he him? I think people are getting comfortable. Yeah, it is a he him. Okay. People are getting comfortable with him. You know, I yeah. think the price was like Kind of took whoa. Everyone by, it was yeah. it was most it was like someone coming in hot like right. as a transfer into eighth grade. Like, whoa, whoa. Like, we've been here since six. You, you know what I mean? Literally, you needed that. I didn't even blink at the price. Yeah, like, no, I I didn't either. You, I said, this is happening. It's ginormous. It wasn't an option. It wasn't an option. I lay on him every night. Yeah. I wrap his tentacles around he me. He sleeps with you? He d- And Penelopus used to sleep with me. Uh-huh. She was my first puss. <laughs> but I would wrap her tentacles so much that she now has a, a break that has actually gone untreated for two years. Oh, she's going untreated? Yeah, and I need to sew her up. Do you know how do to you, sew? No, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> but do we, I, could, I could find someone let's for find you someone probably that can help in the sew fiber art community. Yeah, I need someone to set sew her tent up yeah. really badly. Do you, is that not a choking hazard to wrap the tentacles around your neck as you sleep? I could only hope. <laughs> like, I could seriously only hope. Um, okay, was that all the pusses? Yeah, that's all the pusses. Okay. So, Pissandra's first. <sighs> and why? I, what's why? Your, yeah, what's the connection you have mean. with Cassandra? Yeah. She wants more. Uh-huh. She's she, ambitious. She's ambitious. Uh-huh. She's a diva. She knows her place. Yep. She's like, it's by your side, Jake. She travels with me. She's, she's so loyal. She's so loyal. Yeah. Like, that's my girl. I have to put Penelope second mm-hmm. because she is my first. Okay. It's like my first child. Yeah. After Penelope, I'm going to go with Neville Papperpuss. Which I think is why the other puss might not be too keen on him right now. Right. Because he came in and it's like. He came in hot. Hot. He came in hot. Hot. He's <laughs> like, where did you come from? Mm-hmm. You did not live in this town before, mm-hmm. but you were in my grade. Right. That type of right. situation. Totally. Neville is three. <sighs> Who's number four? I'm going to go with Blow Puss. I love Blow Puss. One or two. Um, God, they're kind of like the Olsen twins of okay, Fall House. Okay, totally fair. They're like interchangeable okay, to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Blow puss is number four. I'm going to go with <sighs> who else like do I like I <sighs> God, I just got a new puss from Japan who I still need to name. <laughs> My friend got me her from Japan. Aww. She's covered in hearts. That's precious. I think she might be number six right now. And I think number five might be Puss Shiren. Wow. And then he's number... pretty low. Yeah. I love Puss Shiren. He's just very light. Uh huh. So, like, there's not much cuddle. Uh huh. Key puss Kinda would be like number airy. seven because okay. sometimes I like hook them onto my pants. What's the um, one from Japan's name? You know, I actually asked the pussies to send me a list mm-hmm. of names. So th- I was going to go through them. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If I had an extra hour every day, I would read an extra hour of my book. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is time for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. Therapy has given me the tools to navigate my life's challenges, fostering resilience, and a healthier mindset. It's a judgment-free space where I've learned to prioritize self-care, set boundaries, and build lasting, positive changes. It's an investment in yourself that pays dividends in personal well-being and a more fulfilling life. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designated to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash OWB today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash OWB. Hey guys, we want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Lumi. Nothing gives me naked confidence quite like listening to my Broadway playlist while I work out. You guys know I love that because the storyline for fantasizing is already built in. A very close second would be Lumi Whole Body Deodorant. Unlike certain other deos, Lumi is powered by mandelic acid to deliver outrageous 72-hour odor control everywhere from your pits to your feet and yes, even your privates. 
In fact, it was patients' concerns about private part odor that originally inspired the OBGYN who invented Lumi. Flash forward six years and her game-changing whole body Zio has now earned over 300,000 five-star reviews from people like me who love feeling confident from head to toe. Luckily, I have a special offer for you. New customers get $5 off Lumi starter pack with code OWB at lumideodorant.com. I've been using Lumi on my armpits recently before my walks, and I'm just so impressed with how effective and long lasting odor control it is while also being gentle on my skin. As a whole body deodorant, Lumi is seriously safe to use anywhere on your body. We're talking pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, vulvas, and feet. It's clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 72 hours. How? Unlike certain traditional deodorants that try and mask odor with a fragrance, Lumi is formulated and powered by mandelic acid to stop odor before it starts. More like a pre-odorant. Choose from a variety of fresh, bright scents like clean tangerine, lavender sage, or toasted coconut. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes in a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code OWB at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code OWB. Okay. And I'll get back to you on that. And anyone here too, feel free to, if you guys want to mind, name, Jake. You know, I, at all, not at all. She's around yeah, yay big. Yeah, give us a physical description. She's a little more. Mm -hmm. I think I thought of something. Um, oh, Kenny, please. Japan, I thought of that. Japan. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I I, yeah. this, is, this might be a little long, but I thought of uh, Hero Dreams of Sushi. So it could be Hero Dreams that? of Sushi. A famous documentary about the art of making sushi, this incredible sushi artist. Uh, his name is Jiro or Hero. Have you seen this before? It's from like 10 years ago. Why am I but anyway, um, <laughs> oh, good. you can name it Jiro. You are such an intellectual. Thank you. Well, I don't think so. But okay. Yeah, I was thinking you could name it Jiro Dreams of Pussy. That could be pretty that could good. That could be pretty. Play on words. It's a little lengthy, but it could work. J-Dop. Is it a G or a J? Jiro. Look it up. I think it's Jiro. It's Jiro Dreams of Sushi. So G-Dop. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. in the running. That's in the running. Wow, that was fucking amazing. Yeah, that was yeah, quick, J Kenny. J I R O. Yep, J Dot. Zero dreams of pussy. J Dot. Okay, perfect. I love yeah. that. Where is this? Where can I stream this documentary? It's uh, on Hulu. It's from 2011. Let me tell you, Hulu stepped their fucking pussy up. Yeah, <laughs> they stepped. You know what they just got last night that what? I'm going to watch tonight? All of us strangers with Paul Mescal. Mescal. Oh. Jake, it's so good. My mom won't shut the fuck up about it. It's so good. Did you but tear up? But I can't up? say anything, really. Okay. Why? Because it's one of those that you just have it's to watch. It's one of those that you should really go in blind to. Okay. Did you see Past Lives? No. Oh, it's so good. I do need to see that. It's so good. I love a movie where it's just like, yeah, life fucking sucks. I love those too. Figure it out. Like, it's the truth. It's the truth. Yeah. Not to be oh. negative. Of course, I would never. No, that's no. not negative. That's no, it's real. not. No, it is. Um, okay, I keep meaning to ask this to every person who comes on the podcast first, uh -huh. and then I get super distracted and end up asking it 40 minutes into the yeah. episode, uh -huh. but what are you obsessed with currently? Currently. Yeah. Right now. As we speak, hyperfixation's happening My in your My hyperfixation world. right now is Jersey Shore. Okay, tell us about it. It is very, oh, it is, I mean, like, I saw a TikTok the other day that was like, the people who watch reality TV are so smart. And I think reality TV masquerades itself as being something of a lower end. Uh -huh. But if you really watch it, it is a fucking art. The way that these editors and like people that like when you find the perfect editors, the perfect cast and like, yeah, it's the editors and the cast. And when you find the perfect producers, mm -hmm. like those three, when you get those three, it's literal television goal uh-huh and that's kind of what jersey shore is to me it's like the beauty in the ordinary and it was right at the tail end of like things being very politically incorrect uh -huh. and very uncensored and it is just hysterical everything that happens on it is hysterical and the reason why jersey shore hits so hard is number one i watched it growing up yeah. number two is those people like it is not scripted. No. No, it is not scripted. No. Cameras were fucking rolling. Mm -hmm. Ronnie and Sam were really fucking going at right. it. Snooki was really upset. Like, they really were just like, go out, get drunk, and we'll film you. And none of these people had, like, they were like, we, nothing's off limits. Yeah. Go for it. No, they're brilliant. And the season one got such a good reception 
that they were like, I can say and do whatever the fuck I want. Uh So I'm going to be myself. Like it is amazing. I'm at the part right now where they're writing the note, which is obviously one of the most famous Jersey Shore moments. Do you know what I'm talking about? To Sam. And (laughs) what is it? Ronnie was. Ronnie, dear like, Sam, Ronnie had his head between two between, waitresses yeah, yeah. at bed the first night. Yeah. Ronnie had yeah. blah, 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 blah. And it's just amazing. And you appreciate it so much more as an adult. And you appreciate how much more real it is because you're like, damn, I've been in a situation like that. For example, Jenny and Snooki are like, fuck, bitch. Like, we got to tell Sammy. And it's mm-hmm. like hysterical to watch. Right. And Angelina is just so desperate to be liked. So she's like playing the field with uh-huh. everyone. And she's like, by the way, like, if this happens, Angelina knows nothing. And Snooki goes, but that's not true. Uh-huh. Like, I'm, you're just as involved now. And Angelina's like, fuck, I just finally got Sammy on my she's side. A Libra. Yeah, she is a fucking Libra. Uh-huh. No, because Libras don't get caught like that. Oh. Is Libra's the one who like can't make up their mind? Yes, but okay. like everyone forgives them because they're a Libra. Okay. So she's not a Libra. No, she's okay. um I don't know. I don't know. But I, I've heard a bunch of fun facts about Jersey Shore. So rewatching it is definitely more interesting now. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just amazing. Like the situations are so real. Like at, if you watch it post college, I you're need like, to. Damn. I loved it when it was on. No, watch it now. Okay, I need to. Start from season one. I started this rewatch from season two because I have recently see- seen season one okay. in the past few years and I kind of just want to get to Italy. Okay. Yeah. Of but course. Um, it's fucking amazing. Do you have a favorite cast member? Snooki. Yeah. But I met JWoww the other day. And How was that? I the, saw that. I mean, actually, I think maybe the nicest person I've ever met. Really? She's like a mom. I she mean, comes she running up to me. So sweet. Hugging me. I'm like, I love you so much. Like, I mean, you know, I met Snooki. Did I, did I ever tell you this? No. I met Snooki, I, my, for my 10th birthday, my dad took me to the Barnes & Noble in White Plains, and I met Snooki. Because she just happened to be roaming around the Barnes no, & no, Noble? No, no, no. She there was, was doing a book signing for, okay. con, for confessions, okay. of a, confessions of a Guida. Uh-huh. Maybe that's something you could read. I I have it somewhere stored away, signed okay. by Snooki. That would be a good one to start with. Maybe she, something you're she's exceptional, about. That, that woman. She's an exceptional she's woman. Exce- and you need to rewatch it. To, like... The, the nuggets of gold that she just says are like, like, I can't repeat them because they're so wrong. No, she is incredible. But like, they are simply outstanding. And like, there's moments of that show where you're like, this is edited so well. It's almost like mm-hmm. the Housewives franchise. And is she married now? Yes, I think to, to Emil- that- I think to Emilio. No. Am I- yes. Am I the right? guy that she was dating? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Let me look. But tell me if I'm wrong. But I could be. I could be. I could be wrong. I think they definitely Gianni. Gianni. Thank God it wasn't Emilio because he was not good to her. And they got married in 2014. Oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah, do you remember she got on the phone with him? He was like, "I cheated on you," and she was like, "It's it's amazing." Yeah, that is a really really good reality show. Yeah. Okay, I feel like it would be like a huge disservice not to talk about taylor swift i completely agree now if you're on a for you yeah if you're on a podcast about being yeah. obsessed with things yeah. we have to talk about taylor swift i mean she changed my entire life she's changed your life she changed my life yeah tell us about it jake i <laughs> always always died for taylor i always loved her starting me, when um okay like what got you into the- teardrops on my guitar okay. i think oh, i heard so it on early mtv or vh1 uh-huh. when i was like six and then i kind of fell off for the fearless era like mm-hmm. I just, I wasn't at, I was like eight years old uh-huh. and I think I could only focus on one thing at a time and I think I was like I think that's when um Lady Gaga first started to pop out on the scene and I was a big little monster okay. then speak now came out mm-hmm. okay speak and now speak now is like dear John enchanted enchanted okay dear John enchanted um how long I, live right? long live okay. um mine uh yeah, those mean are good ones uh, like everything. Uh-huh. It, it, she wrote the entire album by herself. It's incredible. Better than revenge. Haunted. Uh huh. Everything. Last kiss. Okay. And so, so really, some of the classics. I would, I would listen to that all the time. It became very, very mm-hmm. obsessed. Then Red came out. Nineteen eighty nine came out, and then I always loved her. And then you know she took a break. Still ride it, right. ride or die for her. Then. She released rep. This is like when like my obsession got to a point. Like I was always obsessed with her. Uh-huh. Like I was a lifelong Swiftie. Right. When she released Reputation, I had my reputation was in the fucking gutter. Like I had just had a falling out with my friends. Uh-huh. Like it was just one of those. It was my senior year mm-hmm. of high school. And suddenly 
Taylor Swift comes out with an album that perfectly describes wow that's exactly powerful what that's I'm very going powerful. through powerful exactly to a T my re- reputation had never been worse and I always related to her past stuff but uh-huh. I was never in love and right. in this case she kind of was like I don't even know like and then Lover came out and The Archer which is my favorite Taylor song uh-huh, of all time that's a great one was on Lover and then that just made it even more and then Miss Americana the documentary yes, came out yes. and that just sent it over the edge over and the then, edge right as I'm like really d- d- revisiting her work like mm-hmm. I was just revisiting like it was COVID and uh-huh. I feel like everyone she drops folklore and then right as folklore like the chokehold like loosens up she drops Evermore and then right as Evermore is like still like choking me uh-huh. Fearless uh-huh. which is the album I missed out as as a kid so I was rediscovering wow right after Fearless what does she do Red all 12 yep. seconds version yep. I mean that and that actually completely changed my rocked life. me to my core no and then after that what was after that oh Midnight's it's just she doesn't, she doesn't stop. stop her work ethic is impeccable her penmanship is insane yeah she really doesn't give a fuck anymore right i agree and i appreciate that and she puts on a three and a half hour show for six nights in a row i get winded to the point of i'm gonna pass out after one karaoke song performance i was in the car the other day putting away my backpack and i was like like i have to stop smoking like you know what i mean yeah i keep having those moments too what she does is not human it's not human she boosts the fucking economy no, she really does. She boosts the economy. She is somehow the biggest superstar mm-hmm. in the entire world. And she has managed to make every single person that listens to her feel like a personal friend. Yeah. I have chills. It's like an you're, actual. You're actually giving me chills. It's and a I'm God, a fan. It is a God-given yeah. talent. Yeah. She was put on this earth to do it. And she's like, I'm going to fucking do it. Yeah. And she did it. Yeah. Wow. Because I, I think people, people have the wrong idea about me. Like, I am... A fan. I love right. her music. Um, I loved folklore to the point of obsession. I liked I just, Evermore more. Really? Have you ever really? Have you given it a whole? I don't effect? think I gave it what I gave to folklore. But oh my fuck. Yeah, I should. Oh my, maybe I should. It is like a more. It feels like okay, maybe Taylor. We're not writing fake, made up stories anymore. We're uh-huh. writing personal yes. ones again, and to the point where I'm related. Mm-hmm. Like. She has this but it's song. It's not really about like love, is it? It's more about just like random oh my God, moments throw. in it's her. It's literally the best album life? of all time. Okay. It's my number two. Wow. My number one What's is your always number one? 1989. Okay. Just because it was released on my birthday and then re released on my birthday. Like, and I was there for the announcement of it being re released on my birthday. Like, yeah. it just, it's sitting pretty yeah. at number one. Yeah. Evermore, however, made my mom be like, okay, like I'm, I'm also super down mm-hmm. because she heard Willow and she's like, this kind of fuck. Yeah. And I'm like, no, it, it, it really does. And then my favorite part about Evermore is that different songs hit me at different times. And I would listen to the entire album start to finish on when I during COVID on my daily walks. And so my favorites from Evermore and they're just my favorites from Evermore, are like my favorites of all time. OK. Marjorie, Which one? Marjorie? About her dead grandma. Uh-huh. Incredible. Tis the damn season. That's a good one. The song fucking smells like winter. Like, it, like, smells like winter. I think she cut that one out of the Eras tour that I went to. She did. Yeah, she did. I was there. I heard, I had the privilege and honor of hearing it live once. Mm-hmm. I never heard it live again. And let me tell you, like, hearing that song live, like, actually, like, the little guitar riff at the beginning, like, it was winter. That's winter. I, 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 she paints, the, it evermore feels like she's painting pictures. Yeah. You know wow, that's I mean? really, yeah, that's She talks beautiful. about parking her car near the church and talking to her old lover and the school that used to be there. Uh-huh. So then you start to imagine them as like prom king and queen uh-huh. and then they went to college and it wasn't really the same. And then they come back and the town is not as lively. Oh my, like, oh fuck. Like <laughs> Evermore is just, I'm sorry, I'm like so into it. Like it's literally the best album no, ever. No, like this type of passion <sighs> is, I want to bottle it up yeah. and put it on and put it on the shelf. I only feel it for her. You don't have anything else well, that you feel this strongly about? Oh God, Louise, is there anything else you've heard me talk about that I feel as strongly about Taylor Swift as? Oh, okay. Well, I guess there's a few more, huh? Girls. Girls. Oh, girls. Girls. So girls. Taylor's my artist. Uh-huh. Girls, girls is, is my show. show. Girls is your show. Girls is... Mm. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have watched the first two seasons, oh my God, I think crying. two or three times, and I like it. Nope. You will love it. When's the last time you saw it? I think it was 
maybe like a year ago. I oh. watched the first two seasons and I like it, but I don't know why I don't keep watching. I don't know what it, it is. It took a lot of self-discovery for me to really be as obsessed with it as uh-huh. I am. Because I'm like, oh my fucking God, I am Hannah Horvath. I feel that way about Shoshana. Yes. I, you know, her, uh, the actress in real life is the fucking polar opposite of Shoshana. No. The polar, chill, relax, like, wow. which is a testament to how good of an actress yeah. she is. Hannah, I am her. There are certain scenes yeah, that like- I can see that. Also, like, I'm a, I'm a fucking slut for a good sink mm-hmm. or like a good needle drop moment in a show. Mm-hmm. And they have a million of those. They have, they do, I mean, I'm not going to spoil. I mean, you've obviously seen the dancing on my own scene. It's. I don't, I mean, I've seen it on TikTok, but I don't think I got, I didn't get there on the plot. My God, it is one of the best scenes I've ever seen in television. They have the dancing on my own scene. They Uh do a scene with the Bourne song, Past Lives. They do a scene with the bank song. Oh my God, I have chills. Crowded Places. They do a scene with um, Gregory Allen. I don't know how to pronounce his last names. Amsterdam. They do a scene, like they do a scene where, What's that song by Dej Loaf? I'll be a lady in the sheets and then with his hair tied up. That one. And it makes me want to puke. Wow. It you is need the, to do a rewatch like series. They do. They have one. You it, need to do it. Oh, I have. You I, have done it. I think I think I need to rewatch it again. There's the episode like there's just so I, I could go on. But mm-hmm. like it really reminds me so much of me and my friends to the point where I don't feel as crazy anymore. And I think that's what the best art does. Yeah. The best art makes you feel like, okay, you're not crazy. Like other people feel this and they can express it in beautiful ways. Yeah. I think Lena Dunham, like as Hannah especially, is very good at saying things that not everybody would say, but everyone has thought. No, my favorite line in the entire show, and I quote it to this day, is just every bad thing you could say about me, I've said about myself to me in the past half hour. Uh And I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Because same. Yeah. My other favorite line is when, do you remember when, um, uh, what? God, I haven't seen it in a month. I think it's Adam. Not Adam. No, it's not Adam. It's Charlie. Uh huh. Charlie reads the, reads the diary. Yes. And Lena Dunham, and it's obviously shit talking Charlie. Right. And she, Lena Dunham goes, okay, but like, if it wasn't about you, would you think it was like a good piece of work? And I'm like, you're amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. This is amazing work of television. What do you think her star sign is? I think she has yours. I think she has mine. She really is. is, She's me. Yeah. She is so unapologetically herself in the show and it's amazing to watch. Holy fuck, you need to finish the show. Okay. I'm thinking of so many things I want to talk about with you right now. No, you have truly like your passion has inspired me. Like I'm going to go home and put it on. And it's not one of those that you're like, oh, seasons five and six. They Uh probably suck. Just as good. Wow. Some of the best episodes in the entire series are season five and six. Wow. That's good. It's a show that it you might be a little less comedic, uh huh. But because you know the characters so well, shit hits so much harder. Okay. Oh, um, it's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna watch. I'll give I- you a list of the episode you need to look out for is Panic in Central Park. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I have chills everywhere thinking about it. It's one of the <laughs> best because what Lena Dunham does is she gives um the characters capsule episode episodes, uh huh, where it's just them for the entire episode. Okay. That is one of those. It is for Marnie, and it is. Amazing. Isn't Lena Dunham working on something else now or did I make that up? She is. What is it? I forget. Okay, me too. But it looks amazing. Okay. And I'm very excited. I think Megan, uh, the girl from Hacks is in it. Meg Salter. Oh, I love her. Yeah, she's fucking amazing. And then the guy from White Lotus. Yes. 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 Now, would you ever want to be in a room with any of these people that you're obsessed with? Yes. You would want to be in a room with Taylor? Yes. Wow. What would you even, what could you even say? I would say... Your commitment Mm -hmm. to what you are passionate about and your tireless dedication to your craft and to your work, despite (laughs) others' unwarranted input throughout the entirety of your career, is one of the most, if not inspirational and aspirational things I have ever seen in my entire life. And for that, aside from your the sheer talent of it all alone, I love you. Oh, my God. Was that the first time you've ever said that? Yes. You just thought of that on the spot? Yes. You have a gift. Thank you. You have a gift. Oh, my God. Thank you. I have never in a million years been able to say anything even remotely articulate when it comes to somebody that I'm That's what I would with. say to her. Wow. And you know that she would remember that. 
I don't think so. I do. Really? Yeah. That makes me feel really good. Yeah. And if I ever saw Lena Dunham, I'd be like, you are, I'm like, this girl's changed my life. Yeah. I would just, I'd be like, I know you hear it all the time, but it's amazing. Yeah. You're very talented. Wow. And I uh, thank you for making the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Fuck, I love girls. I am like so excited to go home and watch it. You you must. Okay. You will, you will be clinically obsessed. I, I think I will. It is so funny. And it's funnier than you remember. But it's also like super smart it's so smart that's yeah. why it's so funny yeah yeah it's because a lot of people think girl humor like catty girl right humor isn't smart but it is smart yeah and they make sure you know that it's smart right i also think like i think i watched it i tried to watch it for the first time like in my teens yeah, and i, I think it now it would be like it. such a deeper yeah. cut it, oh my god i i didn't cry cry but i definitely shed a tear or two Okay. During the final season. Okay. I'm going to watch the second I get home. <sighs> I have shivers. Um, I have two random things. I'm in no rush, so. Me neither. Go go for okay, it. Okay, perfect. Two random things before we go first. Just like a little housekeeping note. I'm changing my personality. To what? Just different. <laughs> Wait, no, but I love you yeah. for your personality. I know, Jake. I, that's why I had to let you know. For no. So there are changes. There are going to be some changes moving Like forward. what? I think I just need to like, I don't have any crushes. Okay, but that's not your personality. That's an outlook. I feel like it is my personality. Okay. So I, really I don't, don't want I don't have change. romantic feelings anymore. Okay. Those have been removed from my person. Okay. Okay. And a, a crush is debilitating though. And the I, last time I cried in 2019 was over a crush. And it was like, really, bitch? Yeah, I, I was so drunk. A crush is the best and the worst thing in the world. No, it's the worst because I've never had a crush that's been like- Never had a crush. Same. Like back. Yep. Never. The, the day. Wonder what it's like. The day that that happens, I'll actually, I think, oh, I don't stop. know, but I think I would be really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. I would just have to be like, there's some, this isn't. The chase is over. Something's, some, this isn't how it goes. Right. This isn't how it's supposed to go. I just, it doesn't oh, matter because I don't I'm have any more crushes. your No, you're not. No, about. you're not. That's just, I, one, I don't have any more crushes. Two, especially on, on celebrities. Oh, I do. I don't. I have a crush. You have a crush on a single celebrity? No. Um, not okay. right now. Okay. Okay. I mean, and I, I never will again either. Not even Ashton Kutcher? No, not even Ashton Kutcher. Ooh, I die for him. That's I, an interesting one too. Yeah, he's hot as fuck. I agree. Forever and always. My Do favorite you, number one celebrity crush till I die. I will die for the dick. You'll die for the dick for Ashton. D yep. What, is there a specific piece of media that you love him in? Like, are you a big two and a half men stan? You know what? I forgot he was in that show. <laughs> no. I just remember seeing him at the Teen Choice Awards one year and being like, yeah, that's, that's him. That's it. That's Imprint. him. That's Imprint. He imprinted on me. Yeah. Okay. I love that. And I'm trying to think of who else Bradley Cooper. Yeah, I love Bradley. Is a huge one for me. Bradley's on. When I had a list of celebrity crushes. Are you ready for this which one? Which I don't have anymore. Bradley was on it. Yes. And everyone's going to be like, ew. And I don't care. Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. I don't give a fuck. He looks like he smells good. You have a type older men but even it, within the older men it's like light eyes dark hair d yeah well i'm seems like they would kind be of, kind of mean yeah yeah they're just like very much like conventionally attractive yeah. men i mean leo is perfect still to this day you're feeling that he's perfect to this day when was your favorite leo era wolf of wall street i was just about to say i feel like wolf of wall street was like the last of like the hot young Leo. But now he's hot but, old. But now he's hot old. He's perfect. Yeah. The baseball cap does it to me every mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Every time. I, I mean, I get it. Yeah. But it's just hard for me to relate because I don't have celebrity crushes anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the main thing I'm changing about my personality. Okay. Well, that's fine with me. I was very concerned that other parts were going to change. Uh -huh. and I really do love your personality Thank so you. much. And we connect on a spiritual level. That means a lot, level. Jake. And I think just more of like an overall chill, cool girl. Okay. Like, like okay. Where, where's the fun in that? Um, the fun is in people maybe want, maybe thinking I'm mysterious and wanting to know more about me. Okay. One thing I've learned is if you are not mysterious inherently, it is almost impossible to be. I do have a hard time not sharing everything. I share everything. I yes. share when I breathe different. I mean, I shared, I share everything. I'm thinking about not doing that. Yeah. But it's hard. Yeah. It's. Almost not worth it. Because sharing things out loud is, is a form of therapy. It is therapy. Yeah. All I do is share things out loud and tell you how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. 
I must. Yeah. Or I will explode. Yeah. I, 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 do, I will explode as well. I have to. What am I going to do? Write it down? I'm scared someone's going to see it. Yeah. So I just have to say it so there's no like written evidence of it being in the air. Yeah, totally. I get that. But I just wanted to let you know that there will be some changes to my fundamental character. Okay. Another thing, and I guess this is more of a question for you, Izzy, because I feel like me and Jake would have like a very obvious answer. Okay. He's a 10 Mm -hmm. or he's perfect in every way. But. He shows up to your first date with a stuffed animal. <gasps> no, that's weird. That's like a fucking four. I'm sorry. I would never do that. And I own like 40. <laughs> like that is fuck. I figured he'd be into it. No. If he, <laughs> I mean, it depends the context. If he's like, yeah, this is my like stuffed platypus. I'd be like, but if he's like, I know you love octopus. So I, I came with this. I'd be like, oh my God. Okay. Still a 10. You really? The, it, the context of it all okay. matters. If it's for me. And it's like an octopus. Like, I think that's cheeky. But what if he's like the way about platypus, platypi that you are about puss? And he's like, I just. And he's like, here's my platypus. Because I need it. I'm just going to be honest. Like, if we're at a restaurant and we're at a drink, I I think that's weird. Oh, my God. I. I, Pussandra, I love her more than uh anything in the world. I would never bring bring her her to the bar. She's my child. Uh huh. I would never bring her on a date. Okay. Okay. I misjudged that totally. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Well, I mean, does that change your view of their tenderness? I mean, I guess if they're a fucking 10, if it's funny, I might excuse it. If it's funny, then I then I love it, Yeah, I think. But if they're genuinely bringing a stuffed animal because they need their stuffy. That's weird. Then I would have a difficult time with that. Right. But if it's like I'm meeting someone on a plane and they have a stuffed animal, like, okay, we're vibing. Because yeah. like, Cassandra's sitting here with me too. Yeah. What about like you've gone on a few dates with them and then they bring one to like your first sleepover? That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's ideal. That's, that's fucking perfect. You're feeling like that's ideal, Izzy? Yeah. You're above and beyond like, a 10 at that yeah, point. I am. I don't have stuffed animals. I have a baby blanket. Yeah. Blanky. Love him to death. Um, I don't mention him. He, him pronouns too, by the way. Yeah. Um, perfect. Perfect. Unless someone physically sees him. And okay. it's not that I'm ashamed. It's just like, that's so precious to me. Right. Yeah. So I have to keep that sacred. But it's your, let's say it's your third date. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What do you and do? And you bring this boy home and he's like, oh, like, sorry to be presumptuous, <laughs> but like I packed an overnight bag and he's unpacking his overnight bag and he pulls out just like a, like a new like jelly cat. Like it's not like something he had as a baby. It's like he just purchased this jelly cat just because he likes stuffed animals and he needed I it. I would definitely be like, it for the sleepover. it's weird, but I wouldn't end things because of that. Okay. I would probably just tell my friends like the weirdest fucking thing happened. Uh-huh. He brought a, a fucking stuffed animal, like a fresh one too. I think if that happened to me, like a fresh one. Yeah. If that happened to me, I'd just be like, yeah, yeah, of course this is, of course. Yeah, I think it'd be, it's fine. But if he's like overly attached to it, it's like when someone's best, when a guy's best friends with their mom, that's a red flag. Uh-huh. If you're overly attached to your stuffy right away. Kenny, I'm really, oh, sorry. Izzy, I just fully cut you off in the middle of a sentence. I liked, that was horrible. No, take it from the top. <laughs> so it all started, started 25 years ago <laughs> okay. um no i just like if you're too attached to your stuff you right away it's like you can't like it more than me just yet mm-hmm. yeah. until we build the bond mm-hmm. period totally kenny it's, i feel like it's it's totally different for straight gu- for a straight guy i kind of blew it on one of my first times having sophie my fiance over uh-huh. years ago Congratulations. You when, we, when did you get engaged oh, thank you uh october yeah. So Where are you guys gonna get ago. married? Do you know? Uh, we were trying to figure that out. We just went to Santa Barbara and Gordy, everything, Kenny. It, everything was way out of our budget. And you so know we what? Early fucking did. curfew. <laughs> yeah, early early really? curfew. Yep. Yeah. Early curfew in Santa Barbara and the desert. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, they want it's you packed up at like ten. Yep. No. No. We no. Don't wow. Want to pack up that early. Yeah. Where are you um, from? Do it in the I'm studio. You're from Orange County. Yeah, yeah. Do it right here in the studio. Yeah. Should we do it right here? Yeah, we I can mean, make I the set be really kind of pretty. Obsessed with I would like to come to the yeah. wedding if you have a plus one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm inviting you. Oh, my God. Yeah. You would be the perfect wedding date for I me. I would. We would have so much fun. I think my brother... Actually, I can't say that probably, but I feel like my brother's going to get married like uh-huh. sooner rather than later. He will definitely get married before me and probably my sister that's eight years younger than okay. me will get married before me. <laughs> but you'd be a great person to bring to my brother's I'm wedding. I'm a fun time at yeah. weddings. Yeah. I'm a fun time. Do you have a wedding hashtag yet? We don't. Could you help me? Yeah. What's your last name? Murphy. Murphy? And, yeah. And what's her name? Sophie. Murphy. Is she taking your last name? I th- oh, we haven't really. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> Something along the lines of like, what's her last name right now? Gutteridge. 
Good old British last name. Gutter Ridge. Gutter, Gutter Ridge. Ridge. Yeah. She got on my. My dad calls her gut punch, so I don't know. She if that got on my ridge till she Murphy. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. So what? Her bachelor at half tags. Her ha- bachelor at half tag is going to be Gutting Ridge because oh, you're Gutting good. the last name. That's so good. Gutting Ridge. That's her bachelor at hashtag. That's legitimately so good. I love that. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah. And wow. Her wedding hashtag yeah. is going to be. So right now my brain's going like making Murphy, right? Or something okay. like right. making my papa like mur- morphing mur- Murphy because she's turning into Murphy. No, 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 no. I think yeah. you're in the but right direction. Gutting Ridge is a, is a strong one. We'll start with that. Ridge. Like you're yeah. gutting just it her from the inside out. <laughs> yeah, that's Murphy, yeah. Murphy, that Murphy, <laughs> Murphy. Yeah, she doesn't watch this. Murphy. Mur- hey, if you guys are listening to this, please let us know in the comments what you think Kenny's wedding hashtag should be. Did you guys like making Murphy? <laughs> oh, okay. No. Whoa, <laughs> no, no. Damn. okay. Damn, we'll come yeah. back. But okay. for, we'll your, work for her bachelorette, Gutting Ridge is great. I really like that, actually. She's going to love that. She's yeah. Gonna get like my friend, yeah. um, her sister got married and her bachelorette hashtag was, her last name is Chody, and she was getting rid of the last name. Yeah. Ciao, Chody. Oh, that's oh, good. That's short oh, that's and good. sweet, yep. too. That's concise. Yep. I like that. Oh, I like wow. that. That's catchy. It's amazing. Um. What was the question? Oh, oh, oh. So I almost blew it. With, oh, this is, okay. this is kind okay. of a relationship. Stuffed animal, yes, yes. Um, I don't have a really uh, uh, a stuffed animal, but I did have a comforter of the front half. One half was Woody. You flip it over, the other half was Buzz. And it was fully printed with these Toy Story characters on them. I had one of those yeah. for SpongeBob, yeah. And <laughs> it wasn't on my bed, but I was like, oh, you can grab another blanket if you're cold. And she opened the drawer and that was in there and she pulled it out and I had to like explain. I think that's That is the gr- a greenest yeah. of green flags. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, all right, I don't think yeah. you blew it at all. No, I think that but, could have sealed the deal. But it's, I could think that could have been making Murphy. <laughs> that probably made okay. Murphy making, right making, there, making yeah. Murphy work. <laughs> yeah. Making Murphy work. Yeah. <laughs> making wow, Murphy. Wow, Murphy's been made. Thank marking, you very much. But what if, <laughs> what if Sophie showed up to like your house with her overnight bag and yeah. her stuffed animal? I feel like that's it's different for girls. It's totally different yeah. for girls, yeah. right? Well, I sleep with, um, I can't believe I'm shouting her out. Sarah sleeps with us every night. And Sarah is a white teddy bear from SeaWorld when uh, Sophie was like five years old. And Sarah sleeps with us every night. Yeah. With she, Blanky. And I'm not weird out Do you have a Blanky? It. Uh, it's her Blanky too. She has a pink Blanky kind of like this Maybe. one. On the, on Where'd you guys there. meet? Yeah. Good question. Uh, we met in Laguna Beach. Yeah, uh, at, just like on the beach. Fucking love. <laughs> yeah. Talk about things I'm fucking obsessed yeah. with. My parents rented a house there over COVID. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where like where we, like we, did you grow up in Laguna? I grew up in Dana Point, which is south of Laguna. Love Dana Point. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I'm, where in Laguna I, did you meet? Uh the deck. Have you been to the deck? No. I um, wish I had. It's a beachfront bar. It is so picturesque. You watch you go there, get a drink, watch the sunset. You can't beat it. And then we went to have you ever been Did to you Jan, approach have you ever her? Been to Jan's health bar? <laughs> she, uh yes yeah 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 that's a solid spot yeah yeah there's so many great spots in when i was peak covid eating disorder i had that salad every <laughs> fucking day yeah. what was the salad outstanding yeah. and then they discontinued it and i was like okay well eating disorder what was over. on it <laughs> um kale it was like mixed greens uh there was like some nuts it was the tsunami salad so they called it okay uh grilled chicken and then i would get a cup of the grilled chicken that we would give my dying dog because we would have to stuff the pills into the yeah. pellets of grilled chicken and give her that so there's a lot of amazing memories with that salad and then they discontinued it and i was like all right well okay put a pin in that because i need to ask you about mr chow <gasps> but first i need kenny to tell me yes. like so, so sophie came up to you she at so, the deck? Yeah, there was a long table and she was sitting, I was sitting at the head, she was at the other head of the table. Oh, were you in a group that knew each other? Group setting is my best friend's little brother's friend group she was in. Best friend, she's little like, brother's She's two and a half years younger than me. Okay, that's a great age difference. Good age difference yeah. and I didn't, she knew who I was, I didn't know who she was. Okay. Oh, well, period. Yeah, and um, she, I was like making jokes at the table, bombing, but she was laughing from across the table. Oh, oh. everything. I have shells. She me too. approached me at the, the following bar and I like couldn't believe she was talking to me because she, I she's way out of my league. And obviously, when when you see her, you'll understand what I mean. But um, oh, Kenny, please, you're perfect. No, <laughs> thank you. But I bought her a drink and I rolled with it. And um, uh, yeah, and then we got uh, 
we it was near Fourth of July. We got breakfast burritos on Fourth of July, and we this went is like out. It's a that real day. County uh-huh. love story, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it really is. Uh-huh. Yeah, we went to uh, Woody's in. Uh, yeah. Oh my God! It's Newport full Beach. circle, Woody. Oh my God! I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Holy shit! Mm-hmm. I miss yeah. Orange County. Yeah, mm. I know. I do too. I'm, I need to go back. We were thinking of getting married there too, but it's like also obviously very pricey. So right, right. and we got a curfew. No, and curfew. I think Orange yeah. County gets down. They, there's yeah. some, like Laguna. Laguna gets down. Yeah. They do. All yeah. I remember is during COVID, those restaurants were open when they shouldn't have been. And let me tell you, I sat my oh, fucking yeah. ass down and ate there. Yeah. And I'm just being fucking honest. I'm sorry. If it, yeah. it was open. The, sushi, the outdoor space. You know there's, it was outdoor seating. Okay. And you yeah. know what? Mm-hmm. I was in lockdown for a fucking year and a half. And um, whoever was the mayor was like, okay, no more outdoor seating. Uh-huh. You absolutely fucking thought wrong. No, the outdoor seating <laughs> really like absolutely fucking uh-huh. thought wrong. I will be sitting my fat ass down and ordering crispy rice. <laughs> <laughs> You've earned it. It was a year and you, a half you in really quarantine. You really have. Yeah. I mean, I was seating, in New was York during the height of the pandemic. Gloves, mask, all. So don't fucking take away my outdoor seating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do not. Fu- don't yeah. fucking dare. Yeah. yeah. Have you been back to Laguna since? Have you been there recently? No, and I miss yeah. it every day. Yeah. It's, I do too. I haven't been back. And you know time. what? I was so thin when I lived in Laguna because all I did was walk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's so fucking beautiful. It is, yeah. It, I need it, to move there. It's then. outstanding. It's an outstanding city. It really is. I don't yeah. think I've been. It's, it's beautiful. It's sort of it's really like, um, it's very laid back beach town, very artsy. Everyone there is so kind. It's, it's a really good community. It's also extremely expensive. So. Uh, like moving back there doesn't seem like viable. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's why yeah. we can never uh, settle down there. Right. Yeah. But it was amazing for the year that we were there. Okay. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Okay. Wait, Mr. Chow, really quickly. <sighs> I went to order from there the other day. Why didn't you text me? This was actually before we connected last week. Okay. Are and you so allergic kind of, to anything? No. You need to text me next time. Okay. I almost wish we got it for this podcast. But I was confused. I was overwhelmed and okay. confused by the menu uh, it's, and also it's, the prices. Yeah. <laughs> it's confusing and expensive. Yeah. Let me tell you the number one thing on that tell fucking me. menu. <laughs> tell me. The lobster vermicelli noodles. You might be like, what? Are those like the really thin kind yep. of glass noodles? I have shivers. I got them <laughs> as just like on a whim once. Uh-huh. And I don't know how I lived without them. So do you want to hear my order? I want to hear your order. But is it like chunks of lobster? Nope. It's tiny little pieces. Okay. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. I get an order of vegetable fried rice. Yum. I get an order of Beijing chicken. What's on the Beijing chicken? It's like a, like a red mm-hmm. tangy sauce. Okay. Kind of like a Kung Pao chicken. Okay. Beijing chicken, vegetable fried rice, vermicelli noodles, Mr. Chow noodles. You kind of just have to do it. And what are they? Like bowl, like like bolognese, kind of. It feels bolognese. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like Chinese bolognese. How? It's like <laughs> meat, red meat on top of like noodles, spaghetti, and you mix it all together. It's str- it's just spaghetti. It's like meat sauce. Okay. No, it's it's like thicker noodles, and then I get water dumplings. Water dumplings. They're it. Absolutely. Outstanding. Is it like water crust? They're just dumplings. What's in them? I think they call, um, I could not tell you if my okay. life depended on okay. it right now, but they're amazing. And that's my Mr. Chow order. I'm really curious about the lobster. It, I like, telling. when you brought it up, I was like, should I get it tonight? But I think I'm going to do Korean barbecue tonight. Can you order Korean barbecue? You can, but what's the point? No, I agree. What's the fuck? You're headed point? out. I'm he- I'm headed out. Yeah. And you know what? I think I'm going to do it tonight. Good for you. Yeah. I've never just like gone on a whim. Oh, I have, but I'm trying. Th- okay, if you want to know what my real fucking through and through obsession is, it is rice. Lo- I I could eat rice breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I do. Yep, because you can eat it in everything. You can eat it in everything. It soaks up sauce like it's mm-hmm. its full time job. Mm-hmm. Um, so I eat a lot of it, and it has negative effects for my like stomach health. Yeah, because I don't know if it's inherently great for your stomach, like your bowels and sure. stuff. So I'm sure. trying to take a break from it, but like I didn't have it once yesterday and I didn't have it for lunch today. So I think I can have it at dinner. Today. You can. I am trying to take a break from sushi. 
which yeah. is almost impossible Why? for me. I eat it every day. It's amazing. I eat it every day. And I think I'm about, I if I don't already have it, mercury? I'm about to get mercury. MP. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had it like. You had mercury poisoning? In high school, I've had it like. I kind of thought it was like a 10 times. No, it's not. But it's like not that big of a deal. Oh, wait. What Where are you from? What is it? LA. What is it? Mm-hmm. I think I've completely, I it's, thought it was like Lyme disease vibes. N- well. Or it's like only I thought it's like once it. you get it, you have it. Not. No, it's like food poisoning it's obviously way worse than food poisoning i'm not gonna endorse mercury poisoning right. but when i had it it was like i'd get sushi every single day for lunch because it was right by my high school and what did you get tuna yeah okay. Where'd you go to high school? buckley okay period um yeah no one it's small but i know buckley oh you do yes oh i know all the la schools oh, love it um but yeah we get spicy tuna every day and like a cut roll tuna cut roll and my family had like a meeting with me and they were like, you have to stop eating sushi. Like we can't because I was staying home from school. I was like, it's fine. You just like throw up and then. It's like, oh, you were staying home it. from school due to your mercury poisoning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you just throw up? Yeah. And you, it's like. How do you know? How do you know? How are you diagnosed? Um, I, We just deduced. Put two and two oh. together. Yeah. I think it was like the moment I was eating sushi every single day was when I was getting super sick. Mm. And I think you can test for it, but uh-huh. as soon as I stopped eating sushi, I was fine. Oh. So. Sushi is so- oh, okay. It's so you just it. stopped eating it. Yeah. I, I okay. do it like every other week now. And it's fine. Can you okay. cleanse mercury out of your system or do you just have to wait? Um, I don't know. I don't want to find out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My mom was telling me about a like C algae pill that I should take to Ooh. flush. I, but I wouldn't listen. To, I would, that's, okay. You know. Yeah. You never know with those. Um, with those, with yeah. those moms and those supplements, right? A hundred percent. My dad used to give me shots of fish oil every morning in a oh shot God. glass. Me <gasps> too. A shot of fish oil, and I chase it with orange juice. Ooh. Yep. You know what I've been doing? What oil pulling? What the what? You're not on oil pulling talk? No. What is that? It's like just like oil, like coconut oil that you're supposed to swish around in your mouth to like help your gums. I don't think I want to do that. It is so foul. I have the worst gingivitis ever, though, and I probably should. I that's like there's something wrong with my gums. Oh. We are one of the same. Yeah. Bleed. They're just like every bloody. Time I brush my teeth. They're bloody and like they hurt. They're they, yeah, they're swollen. It's not but good. But I almost love the pain. Yeah. It like reminds I, me of your ugh. life. Like I bite, I, I bite down or mm-hmm. I poke them. But I think it really does. And it's supposed to make your teeth really white. <gasps> what is this? I, it's the oil, oil pulling. pulling. Okay. But it is truly like so disgusting. Okay. And you're supposed to switch from five to 30 minutes. What the fuck? Yeah. Every day. For I don't think I can results. do that. Yeah. So it is definitely a commitment. But I'm I'm loving the ride. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> Jake, thank you. I don't want to go. I, don't I know. Leave. I know. Is there anything else that you want to say? Not really. Okay. I just feel then like I we're think, all hanging I think out. We have to go. Well, we can hang out off screen. Okay, let's hang out off screen. Okay. Maybe we can see Madame Webb together. Maybe we could. See, I want to do that so badly. We have to get super high. Yep. I mean, I get high to like live my life. Yeah. Okay, you perfect. know what I mean? Okay, so we let's do that. Yes. Okay, well, offline. See, that. everything we say, all I want to do is keep talking. I understand. So I'm we just gonna, will, we can do that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna okay. let you do that. Well, how about you plug what you what? Okay. Everything that's going on in your life. Great. Okay. Pod, etc. I have my podcast, which you can find Brooke and Connor on in the coming weeks. It's called Therapus. Brilliant, by the way. Best podcast name. Oh, thank you. That I've ever heard. I think. Um, and I don't know what else is going on in my life. Um, I've been going to Aloe. Okay. Um, <laughs> I found out that okay. I have breasts this past weekend. You don't have breasts. Let me. You t- have nipples. I'll read you. Let me just read you. No, you, you can't trust the comments. You can't trust the comments. No, you can't trust the comments. They said if a if a woman, <laughs> that one of them, it's not loading. Maybe for the better, but don't worry, I remember it. <laughs> if a woman is expected to wear a bra, <laughs> then men with boobs. Should also be wear one. And then they ended it with it the sexism angle. at its finest. Because I had breasts <laughs> on the PCA's red carpet. Blue carpet. Sorry. It, it so that's a recent discovery. And that's also what been attributed to my lack of rice in the past few days. Also, women don't have to wear bras. Yeah. So, so the fucking. You shouldn't either. My favorite, though, comment about my outfit and my breasts at the PCA's was, are we supposed to make some noise? <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> I think you looked great. Thank you. And like, yeah, everyone has nipples. And everyone has... No, I don't have nipples. I have breasts. <laughs> like, I have breasts. Everyone has breasts. And then I told my trainer today, and he then worked out my breasts. And I was like, ooh, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm-hmm. Everyone has breasts. Even men. It's just different form. Mine, like, 
I like can't <laughs> jump up and down sometimes. Do shirtless. men actually <laughs> are they called breast? Because men can get breast cancer. So I'm sure at if, if I'm sure if any men can get it, it will be. <laughs> I'm dead fucking serious. There are photos of me where it's like, why doesn't why is he topless? You know what I mean? Like, why is he topless? No, I thought you looked great. Thank Seriously. You. I when I jump up, I well, I can't thank you. Yeah. Yep, just take so, the top. Well, stream therapist, look at my breasts, and <laughs> you can find me on TikTok at Octopus Lover Aid and put Instagram at Pass That Puss. Oh my God, perfect. Jake, thank you so much for thank coming. You for having me. Come back and also we'll offline we'll about offline. Um, Madam, Madam, Web. Madam Webb and also just other, Mr. Chow, et cetera. Oh, maybe we can do both. Maybe in the we same could day. do both. Maybe we could do both. Let's, okay, get, guys. let's get Connor in on this because he third wheeled a little last okay, time. He did. Well, you know, he's a little mm. bit of outside of the imprinting yeah. bond, but <laughs> right. he can work his way in. He can. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Love you all to death. Bye. Yay.